Hey everyone, Beth with Crafty Corner, and today I'm going to show you how to engrave on a powder coated tumbler with citrus strip and Cricut vinyl. No laser required. Let's get to it. All right, let's go over what we're going to need. I have had really good luck with these tall brand tumblers from Walmart. Um, so I have two of those brands and I wanted to try a new brand, um, Simple Modern. I have a bunch of these, but I didn't know how the citrus strip would go on it. So let's try it out. Um, we also need our citrus strip. You can get it on Amazon. I actually got mine at Walmart. We will need a foam brush, some painter's tape, measuring tape, our vinyl, smart vinyl. I'm using my Cricut Maker 3, so smart vinyl, scraper, leader, and a sponge with a coarse side um, to it. Next in design space, we are gonna create our stencil. So I measured my tumbler and decided what size I wanted it. Um, so let's go ahead and make it. I am using smart vinyl, so we're gonna go without a mat. We want to make sure that we have enough space around our stencil um, so that the citrus strip doesn't hit any other part. We will use painter's tape, but for now we want to just kind of move it away from those edges there, side and top. Continue. It will search for my machine via Bluetooth. Then we're going to use Smart Vinyl Permanent. And let's get it loaded and hit cut. It's going to check to make sure that I have the correct blade in, and then it will start cutting. Once it's done cutting, we want to weed it, but we want to weed it opposite of what we normally would. So we want to weed it as a stencil, meaning all the parts we would normally weed out, we're actually going to leave there, and we're going to leave that outer edge square there. So we'll go ahead and weed all those little pieces and keep the little lines. Next, we're going to transfer it to our tumbler with transfer tape. Our transfer tape doesn't need to go all the way to the outside, it just needs to cover our design. So I don't have it completely the whole square there, just enough to cover the, the flower here. Go ahead and lay the transfer tape down. We want to burnish it with our scraper, nice and gentle. We don't want to move any of those pieces, we just want to get it to adhere to the transfer tape. And go ahead and burnish it on the back as well. Smart Vinyl, we really need to make sure that it adheres to that transfer tape. All right, and now we're just gonna remove the backing of the vinyl. Move this tumbler over here, and I like to just do it opposite of that little logo. So I just have it turned around, and we'll place our vinyl right on our tumbler. Using my fingers, I just kind of press it down nice and good here. We really want all of that vinyl to stick down. We also don't want any sort of air bubbles. Any air bubbles will cause the stitchy strip to go underneath the vinyl. So we want to press down real nice and good here. You can even use a scraper to kind of scrape down, but again, be super careful that you're not going to move any of the vinyl pieces. Once that's down well, we will go ahead and remove the transfer tape.
After the transfer tape is up, I go again with my fingers over the top just to make sure none of the pieces um, came up even a little bit with that transfer tape removal. I like to use painter's tape to make sure none of the citrus strip gets on the tumbler parts that we don't want it to. We left this stencil quite a bit big on the side so I'm not too worried about that but I do want to add some to the top and bottom. Next, using a foam brush, we are going to paint on the citri strip. We're going to be pretty liberal with this stuff, making sure we get it really nice and covered over all of the um, open parts of the stencil. I first make sure that the entire stencil is covered and then I kind of go back and forth, move it around some and then kind of, like I said, very liberal add to um, this flower here and we're going to make sure that each of these little parts is covered really, really well. We're then going to leave it on um, for about an hour. It really, each cup is very, very different depending on how long it needs to sit. So. For this brand, the tall brand, I do am going to leave it for one hour. After it's been sitting for about an hour, I take my weeder and I double check to make sure that the paint is peeling up. You can see here when I just very gently take my weeder to the open parts of this stencil, that, that powder coating is coming up really, really easily. So that tells me that it has been on long enough and we are good to go. We are going to take some paper towel and just wipe off the excess citri strip. Some of the vinyl does come up at this point, which is totally fine. We're getting all of the paint stripping off, so we are gonna take off that vinyl anyways. So take off the citri strip. And I remove some of the vinyl here. But this is the most satisfying part is getting all of that powder coating to come up. I first just take my weeder and kind of outline the, the stencil just to kind of get it started as to where that, that uh, coating is going to come up. And I just take my my weeder and very gently so I'm not scraping the tumbler itself. Just going to kind of take off all the vinyl. Then I'm going to remove the stencil completely, the vinyl and the painter's tape. Then the last thing you need to do is scrub. I started off going kind of gentle because I was worried about those fine lines, but it actually works a lot better if you kind of use some elbow grease and really scrub at it with a kind of a coarser sponge. And I didn't have to worry about those lines because they stayed perfectly. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, give us a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.